Good morning everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to Casual Physics. Today I thought you might be interested to see the anatomy of a hydrogen generator. You see, I'm in the process of drying this thing and I described that in my last video. I suddenly realized it was going to dry a lot better if I just took off the lid. So in taking off the lid, yes it dries better, we can also see how it's working. So I thought maybe you might be interested to um, understand the guts of this machine. It's worth saying I don't 100% understand all of the things in here, so maybe in the comments section people who know a little bit more about hydrogen generators might be able to contribute some knowledge. Okay, so where do we begin? There are so many pieces here. Okay, so let's begin here. This is the water tank. It can take light water, heavy water. This will only ever see heavy water. Um, right now, it's got nothing in it other than this muslin cloth. Inside the muslin cloth is a bunch of beads. These are what are called desiccant beads. They're made of silica gel. And they help to basically suck out any water. So that's what's helping to dry out this tank. That's where the water goes. On this side we see there are two tubes exiting the, the tank and they go to this, this metal object here. This is where all the magic happens. This is where most of the weight of the machine actually is. This is where what we call electrolysis is occurring. That's the chemistry process that takes in electricity through the back here and uses that electricity to split the water into the oxygen and the hydrogen. So this is where everything is really going on. Reading the manual, what you find is the oxygen bubbles back up through here and out a small hole at the top and the hydrogen comes out through presumably both of these tubes. And this is where my knowledge gets a little bit hazy here because I'm not really sure what this thing is doing here. I suspect that it might be helping to allow the hydrogen to build up pressure but I'm not 100% sure about that. Once the hydrogen comes out though we now start to see a very complicated looking mess of pipes. So what do we say about these things? Okay it's worth just following along the hydrogen and seeing where it's going. So it goes around here all the way down, are you still following? And into here, eventually out the other side to continue its journey, but in the process it goes through this thing. Now what is this? We can see there are some holes where the hydrogen comes up through and then it comes up through the bottom here and finds its way to the top. And once it's found its way to the top, you can see there is a little tube there in which the hydrogen works its way down and out of the bottom. You might be thinking, what is the point in that? And it's not obvious until you read the manual and understand that this thing should be filled with those blue desiccant beads. So the idea is that the hydrogen that is produced by the machine might contain some moisture and so you want to get rid of as much moisture as possible. So that's the process in which the hydrogen is essentially dried and eventually then it leaves nice and dry out of this pipe and enters into this chaotic mess of pipes here. There, it looks really complicated uh, and it took me a few minutes to understand everything. This pipe goes to the front and there's a pressure sensor at the front where I can read how much hydrogen pressure is generated. There is an output, so this is the that I'm really interested in. This is what will take the hydrogen, or in my case the deuterium, to my experiment. And then there are two more pipes. You've got this one and the one underneath. They both go to this very serious looking kit, which when you look at the detail, the measurements look like they are measurements of pressure and we might be able to zoom in and see that. Let's try and have a go at looking at the, at the details. Hopefully you can see it says kilograms 
kilograms per centimeter squared. That's almost measurements of pressure. So I think what this is doing is preventing the hydrogen from building up too much pressure in the system. This has access to electricity, the electricity supply. So I think this just cuts off when the pressure gets too high and makes it um, makes it safe. So that's great because we like safety. So that is the anatomy of this hydrogen generator. It's not the same for all hydrogen generators. My other one has a tank that works slightly differently, but that is the one that I'm gonna be using to make my deuterium by putting heavy water in here instead of normal water. So I hope you enjoyed that deep dive into the world of hydrogen generators. It is a little bit niche, but I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. That's really all for now. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing. It really does help to increase the visibility of what I'm trying to do here, so I really appreciate that. Uh, and as always, thanks for your time and attention, and I'll see you next time for some more casual physics. Bye for now.